The Tupai Arehe, also known as Terhu, are fairy-like beings from Maori mythology. They are said to be tall and fair-skinned with white hair and dressed in fine clothing made from natural materials such as flax or feathers. Their appearance is often described as ethereal and otherworldly, and they are known for their beauty. Patupai Arehe are believed to have the ability to control the weather and the natural world, particularly in relation to forests and mountains. They are also said to possess the power of invisibility and can appear and disappear at will. It is believed that they can communicate with animals and have the ability to heal the sick. To shield oneself from Patupai Arehe's abilities, one can carry a protective amulet made of greenstone or other natural materials. Wearing clothing made from natural fibers like wool or flax is also believed to offer protection. Patupai Arehe are said to inhabit remote areas such as forests and mountains in New Zealand, particularly in the North Island. Their natural habitat is the bush, where they are said to dwell in caves or under overhangs. They are often associated with misty or foggy areas. Patupai Arehe are said to be born fully formed, emerging from the natural world itself rather than being born of parents. They are believed to reproduce by attracting humans to mate with them and bearing offspring from those unions. Patupai Arehe are known for their musical and artistic abilities, particularly in the creation of traditional Maori music and dance. They are also said to have a connection to the spiritual world and are often associated with the afterlife. It is not clear whether Patupai Arehe sleep or not, as they are said to exist in a realm beyond that of humans. They are often associated with dreams and visions. Patupai Arehe are believed to have originated from Maori mythology and are an important part of the culture and traditions of the Maori people. They are said to have existed in New Zealand long before the arrival of humans. To ward off Patupai Arehe, one can recite a prayer or incantation such as, Patupai Arehe, leave us be, let us live in harmony. Carrying a protective amulet made of greenstone or other natural materials is also believed to offer protection. To survive an encounter with Patupai Arehe, it is important to show respect and to avoid offending them. It is also recommended to carry protective items and to remain calm and composed. To lure and trap Patupai Arehe, one can use music and dance to attract their attention. However, it is not recommended to attempt to capture or harm them, as they are powerful spirits with the ability to exact revenge on those who cross them. There is no known way to defeat Patupai Arehe, as they are powerful spiritual beings. It is best to show respect and to avoid confrontation with them.